Whoa, this just in. Okay, Amir just told us this. Um, we want to share it with you guys. Now, it is alleged, okay, because like I said, it's breaking news. So we recently covered Paris Hilton in that plane crash where she was pranked into thinking. Punked, Fake plane crash. Yes, punked into thinking that she was about to die in a plane crash, fake plane crash. So she was clearly emotional. We talked about we felt bad for her. We thought that that was way over the line for a, a, a prank. Now, TMZ has obtained documents from Egyptian court, from this production company, that they had sent out a, a letter offering a million dollars to a number of different celebrities to fake or be a participant in this fake plane crash for publicity. So they are alluding to the fact that Paris Hilton was aware of this. We don't know. Stay tuned, but if she was aware of this and then now is coming out to, because she is playing the victim by, by and rightfully so, by suing this, this production company, but if she's in on it, what would that change your mind to how you feel about all of this? I'm not surprised. <laughs> I can say that much. <laughs> right, I've right. never seen Paris Hilton do anything that wasn't just for shows. So. Right, yeah, and for money, for <laughs> showing money. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have a lot of, there's a lot of layers to this. I know, and we so, just got this. Listen, we're gonna fake a plane crash. I have no idea what a fake plane crash is like, and they're like, Paris, we're gonna, you freak out when it's happening, you'll hear them. But then you watch the video and this, you see like the shadows move drastically across the cabin as, or the light coming in from the sun. So they're moving around and going up and down. So maybe in the moment she's like, oh my God, maybe something really is going wrong. I buy her emotion in the moment, for sure. And she keeps saying, is this normal, is this normal? So that would make sense that maybe she knew an inkling of what was gonna happen and then she thought it went wrong. Another, yeah, another mm -hmm. thing is, I used to work at the talent agency that represented Paris Hilton at yes. the time, and I knew the assistant whose job it was to send her documents. Oh. And she was just a total train wreck when it came to reading, receiving, holding on to. So maybe she was like, I don't care, I'll sign it. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, is it possible that she is it possible that she signed up for being a part of a prank, but didn't know that it was going to be the plane crash? Right. Okay. Yeah. So then, would that yeah. be on her then, because she's not doing her due diligence to make sure that she's putting herself in a situation that she's fully aware of? I think that she signed on for it, and I think that it turned out to be way scarier than she. I don't think she's that good an actress, honestly. I, yeah. Like I believed her I believed terror, her. and I really movies. don't think that she. Yeah, House of Wax. Okay. Um, I really, you don't, we don't need have, to tell her. We don't have enough time today. <laughs> I really believe that she was terrified. So it's either she was in on the prank, and it turned out to be more terrifying. With people, people were going out the back I of the know. plane. Like people were like jumping. jumping out. So maybe they didn't give her all the details. Details. Maybe she, you know, maybe when she was said, is this normal? Is this normal? She was asking, you know, is this normal for the prank? Like, is this how far we're taking it? So maybe she was afraid with that. She did say um, later as a follow up, she said her genuine number one fear in like her whole life it's is flying. a plane crash because yeah. she flies every day of her life. So it's kind of weird why she would sign up even for money if that's your number one fear. Like, my number mm. one fear is not serial killers, horror movies, none of that. Let me tell you what my number one fear is Shark Week. Ah. Ah. Mm. Shark Week, when you, get your, when you get in the water, those sharks are real, okay, yeah. and they're hungry. Uh. If you look like a seal, good luck. So, you couldn't pay me, you cannot pay me any amount of money, okay? Any amount of money to get in the water with sharks. So you're not gonna go surfing with, with me sharks. this weekend? You're not surfing Heck with me? no, I don't care if it's a baby shark, I don't care if it's a tadpole shark, I, if, it's, if it says shark in the title or looks anything like a shark that I can't eat and isn't on my sushi plate, I am not, there's no amount of money. So stay tuned, I'm sure there's gonna be more details We'll see you guys next time on Pop Trigger.